Uh, hi. So this is going to be a response to a video that B-Dog put out, which is a response to a video that I put out uh, regarding the stream highlight that I put out with Turbo as the focal point. Uh, there were some gameplay slices mixed in there that I only put in there because, again, it's a stream highlight, and I do intend to put out stream highlights at least once every two weeks to further my channel. But that is not what is important here. What's important here is that I get to respond to a video that responds to me, and obviously it will also help me to expand on and consolidate the points that I had in that initial video, because that discussion that I held on my stream was done on stream while I was in a run. So cognitively speaking, I did not have enough resources to spread onto what I was actually talking about. And in some cases, not all of them, but in some cases, it did lead me into saying something that I wish I could have expanded on further. So this is both an expansion on that video while also being uh, a furtherance of the conversation between him and I. Uh, I have not watched this video yet. So, yeah, let's go. All right. So, uh, I wasn't going to do this originally, but I feel like it is um, somewhat necessary to now to react, I guess, to this video. I'm basically just going to be watching the video in real time. I've already watched it. Um, but that's just the intro. Really, ironically, you don't know why I don't weave at RB as well because think about the time I saved from holding a button and tapping the R button. That doesn't really seem competitively fair. I'm going to stop that right there and preface everything that I say this point forward with I agree that Turbo is a complete advantage across. Everywhere where you need to shoot something uh, repetitively with the beam. I think that it significantly reduces cognitive load. And that it means that you don't need to worry about that room much anymore. And especially when it comes to bosses. For example, Ravenbeak. Who, when I refer to Ravenbeak, will be referencing Phase 2 in particular. But in some cases, Phase 3. Uh, it, it, it just means that you don't need to stress as much and it also, or not just as much, but like a lot. And it also means that you will likely save a large quantity of time, even consider, even compared to the best non-turbo players on those fights. I believe I do mention it at some point where I lament the fact that if I use turbo weaving, I would shatter Noya's time and in my lens five seconds is a lot on 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 fights like rb2 um because it's 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 also a boss rush thing and in boss rush a second is an eternity so yeah i completely agree with turbo being an advantage completely and i'm not at a point where i can't ignore that where, where i can ignore that for free i'll do it like right now i do it on hundo glitch list because i simply don't care about the category Okay, I'm gonna wait for. I I'm sure he's gonna pause at this. So right, so I I'm just gonna wait. All right, already. <laughs> oh my lord, this video makes me lose my mind every time I watch it. But okay, already we have a couple things to go over. So also, I am on one and a half speed because it's an hour and fifteen minutes long. So the first thing is, why doesn't he weave on Ravenbeak? So basically, what weaving is for those who don't know, is um, the fastest form of DPS on Ravenbeak Phase Two is to um, is to fire beams and missiles in a way that you're firing missiles on cooldown and you're having beams in the gaps between those missiles. Um, which, for anybody who's had to attempt to do this without turbo, you know how unbelievably difficult it can be to mm -hmm. actually pull it off because you're you're trying to aim by holding the L, the L, uh, shoulder button, the stick, uh, and then you also have to find a way to mash beam and also press the R button, which... If you try and use a controller and do it with the default layout, that's just that's just not going to work. You just you have to develop specific techniques for it, um, which I'll go over at, in another video, most likely, at some point. Uh, but yeah, the the point is he doesn't want to weave with turbo because 
it it saves quite a bit of time over non-weaving and realistically only two or three people can even save time with weaving at least that do full runs and still run the game uh i know that one of those players is noya i don't know who else he's referring to um but there's also uh yokota san who i believe uh, manual weaves very very fast rate he's also a japanese runner uh, i don't know anything about the west in this context because a lot of the people that i follow either do normal missile strats at the top level anyway either do normal missile strats uh with ice missiles or has a weave that isn't very fast but is still better than the normal missile strats or uses turbo uh, because it's just it's a very you just you have to constantly keep that skill up you can't there's no settling for certain speeds you just you, you have to keep practicing it it never mm -hmm. it never stops becoming an issue um and when it comes to why he decides to weave on categories that he doesn't care about like hondo glitchless that doesn't make any fucking sense at all because if there's no competition for the category right now that doesn't mean that there'll be no competition forever if someone eventually starts to care about it and then they run into the issue where they're heading into the last fight ahead of world record and they fall behind because sat used turbo that that just like what are you supposed to do <laughs> um okay so i can actually sympathize with this because i am actually about to live that at some point in hundo glitchless in particular because i do plan to improve that time uh which leads into one of the reasons or the primary reason why on certain categories that i don't care about uh i i just sometimes i just decide fuck it i'm a weave uh with turbo uh number one when i don't care about a category uh at least at that current time if I ran the category, I would not go crazy over playing as best as I can. Because I personally need to have a significant interest in the category at the time in order for me to play my best. That's just how I am. Number two. I know that that run is actually not very good. And it can be improved on. To the point where... If I did even normal missile strats on Ravenbeak, I could still beat the time by improving the past hour and 45 minutes of that run, which mostly does not use turbo to save time or even at some points to or at many points to reduce the cognitive load. There are rooms that do it for sure. I can point out one of them in particular is when you're going to Berenia for the first and second time, there is a spiked flying monster that we call the Steve, who is somewhat difficult to kill if you don't do double charges, and you can reduce that cognitive load because you're in water, and it's a bit of a stress, and it also depends on the cycle of that enemy. Uh, you can reduce the cognitive load by doing one charge shot into a bunch of shots, and sometimes a missile if you want. Uh... That's like a half second thing though, so fuck it. But I know that I can save a ton of time in that run by just playing better. Which is why whenever I say fuck it, let's weave, it always has to do with what was played prior. Uh, in fact, I make it an activity on the stream at times where if I'm in a very bad run that gets to Ravenbeak for some reason, sometimes I'll say, hey guys, so this is why I don't we uh, turbo weave. Because it simply is too fast for the amount of effort that you put in. I don't do that. Uh, so while some may say that the argument as to why I don't use or I, I use weaving on cats I don't care about is is like shoddy or just completely nonsensical, uh, it makes sense for me personally. Because as someone who will eventually look to beat those times since I want to push the game as far as it can go time-wise, uh you know like I, I that's where i will be much like the hypothetical person who is trying to beat the time i myself will also at some point look to beat the time and i would not set a time that i think i could not beat unless there is no beating it so for me right now all of the times that i've put up on the boards can be beaten there is not a single time that cannot be uh nine out of the ten do not turbo weave. 
because the gameplay was actually pretty fucking good. Right? Hundo glitchless, I don't give a shit. So so th that's that's where I stand on that. That's my full reasoning. You just you create a situation where someone has no meaningful um like way to get over that hurdle without using turbo or without becoming insanely good at weaving mm -hmm. which using turbo is a much more reasonable possibility um for a lot of reasons <laughs> a lot a lot of reasons um of course that's all hypothetical uh, you can't prove it'll ever actually happen but you could also say the other way around you can all you also can't prove that it'll that certain categories will never be competitive like it the argument goes both ways mm -hmm. Anyways, it's true. I already rambled on for a bit. We were only thirty seconds in. <laughs> well, I've already rambled on a bit, and we're only five minutes in, with one point five times speed. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be. Oh man! All right. There's not enough people playing, so I just do it because why not? But for for other categories that I actually care about, that I'm willing to push my times on, and that I'm pretty sure that at some point someone will be interested enough because the category is actually interesting because it's an unrestricted category and it's one of the most unique routes in the game created by B Dog. Like the fifth iteration of Alboss is unrestricted. We finally landed on one that's both really hard and extremely interesting. There is no way this category will not see play. So I'm not going to do that to people in the future. If they want to compare times, but they see that I just saved 10 seconds on them for free on Ravenbeak, like, why would I do that? See, he's only saying this because he thinks it'll be relevant in the future, but there's no there's no proof for that. And there's no proof that 100% glitchless won't be relevant in the future either. Like, there's fundamentally, in the entire region, the reasoning is flawed because it's assuming what the future is going to be like. Which is something you should never, ever, ever, ever do in speedrunning. That that's just unless you have very clear evidence for the way certain things go, it you just you shouldn't shouldn't have any expectations. So, anyways, um, so I I agree. As someone who's relatively new to speedrunning, I have since learned that you don't predict the future. Uh, the the statements that I made regarding Aber. Uh, is also because I know that there are players right now that are aiming to improve at the times there, um, at their own times. And I know that I'm also one of those people, right? I have a, I have choked 112, 111 on this category many times already. Uh, so I know I'm just going to keep trying for it. It's this category. So I fall under that umbrella of people who will continue to uh, give this category play in the future. I did not express that very well on stream. I generalized it to there is no way this category won't see play, but I, I, I fall under that group, which is one of the reasons that why I don't just balls to the wall, because I know that I'm going to be playing this damn category in the future, and if I set that precedent for myself now... I, I'm gonna have to continue, you know, like, so, like, it, it'll just be weird, so I just choose to not do it from the jump on this cat. Now, when it comes to other people playing this category, or other categories where I have similar reasoning uh, with this one, for example, I don't think that short boost NMG will not see play, because it is any percent NMG. Uh, I don't think that any percent unrestricted will not see play, even though it skips RB, so a lot of the turbo thing here is actually not very relevant, except for Powerbomb Warrior, where I do think that it does save uh, a considerable amount of cognitive load. Um, like, that won't see play. Like, that'll definitely see play as well. Um, so, like, stuff like this, right? Where, like, like that, that that's just the reason why... I am the way I am with regulating my personal usage of the function. Um, I, I went all over the place there, but I, I promise I had a point somewhere. <laughs> the fact that I can, the fact that I shattered Noyazaki's Ravenbeak time with Turbo is a bit of a disservice. Because he's Noyazaki, and also Marsh, and also B-Dog, and also Arcandy, you know? And someone argued that I shouldn't care, I should just do it, but I care, because that's just, the that's just the kind of person I am. And I'll use it to save my hands, not to phantom save time. Although recently I have been making a decision to change my ways on uh, Ravenbeak, so instead of instead of electing not to, to turbo weave, I'll simply make it weaker by holding R for longer, so that less beams come out. Okay, um, that's bad for a lot of reasons. Main reason is because you can just do the normal strat, which is using 50 ice missiles. Every category that fights Ravenbeak right now has ice missiles at Ravenbeak. There's not a single. Actually, no, that's not true. Sorry. 100% uh, unrestricted doesn't have ice missiles. It has super missiles. But even then, that's the same case. I mean, you, 
but you just fire like 67 i want to say uh somebody can check my math probably but the point is you have enough um and you can have enough in every category that's not a low percent category so it's just why do that in the first place why why choose to weave but make it weaker I, like well, I my brain fucking hurts you're the weave or you don't weave then you should just weave if you're going to use turbo because if you're going to use turbo you're already I, I guess i should explain this now if you're using turbo you're already at an extreme advantage compared to someone not using turbo it doesn't matter about the speed i don't care if the person not using turbo can mesh at like 25 times per second sure they'll gain time over you but they have they have to put in way 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 more effort way more effort in order to even get close to the time that a turbo can like close to a time that a turbo can get without trying you have to put so much practice into Ravenbeak, so much practice into a lot of other bosses, but this just gets ignored. You're taking a you're taking a skill out of the game when you allow turbo, um, and inherently using it by itself is already just disrespectful to competitive integrity. And choose electing to only go halfway with its use, you're just you're accomplishing nothing. Like you're it's still the same thing, just your time isn't like ten seconds better. That's it. Like, there's virtually no difference. Morally, at least. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It, it really doesn't. To me, at least. But, whatever. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna address the latter portion of this first, because I feel like it's the more, uh, uh sound, for, from my perspective. Um, so... I am a firm believer in that both two things can be true, yet not agree. Uh, and in this context, it would be the idea that he and I, and uh, him and, much, uh, and others like him, and then myself and others like myself, uh, have differing perspectives that can both have value and yet not meet because of whatever. Right? They're... Th th like okay so discussions in this format are not zero sum so like comp in competition one side wins and the other side loses that is a fact uh in in true competition anyway there's like fucking participation awards or some shit but that's not really winning right uh in discussions like these i don't think it's zero sum i think that there's always contextual basis for like that that could result in one side and the other side, but both sides, I guess, being correct, yet there isn't a conclusion or a mutual understanding that was reached, which is my primary thing in life. Whenever I discuss anything, I want to fully understand the opposing side and see if I can, what, what, what is it? I can resolve both ends, right? And I, I appreciate when others do that on my side as well. Um... So what I'll say here in response to the last like twenty seconds of this, like, you're, it's still the same thing, just your time isn't like ten seconds better. That's it. Uh, I mentioned earlier that it has for for me it has little to do with like oh you have a wor you're using a worse turbo like you know like for me it has to do with equalizing the times between what I can do. That results in me having some physical stress. Uh, and, and what I can replicate time-wise without gaining an unlimited advantage for no reason. right? Just by tapping the R button when I hold a, a shot button. That is my reasoning. Uh, whether that is morally sound or not is not the question. Because it's a personal reason. The moralness of this is, can Turbo be reasonably compared to non-turbo runs where everyone is happy right the human element the answer is no it, it just isn't so obviously the easiest solution here is to separate the boards uh and maybe that'll become uh something that happens at some point i i would hope so but um that that's not the point here the uh, the point is that this is this is my personal thing i didn't really say it very well in my video but this point here is entirely personal. It has nothing to do with the actual 
you know, the, the actual ramifications of whatever, because uh, if, if, if I were to scale this down to that level, I'd basically be advocating for like nine hertz, 10 hertz, uh, which if it was reasonable, I would do. It's just that not many controllers do that, uh, that aren't suspicious quality anyway. But um, I'm pretty sure that's also something that is disagreeable because uh, the controller, who, cares, who gives a fuck about your controller? But yeah, like it's it's all personal thing, right? And one of the things with separating the boards would be that you no longer have to time wise associate with the other person. Um, when it comes to your 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 final time, you can continue to associate with gameplay elements such as movement, certain room times, boss fights that don't use shots like the Quiro boss fight, sharing room strats that don't have anything to do with shooting. Right? You can still associate like that, but with the board split, you don't have to even mildly think about how your times compare because your times are no longer the, and on the same board uh so the morality of all of this is chucked out the fucking window um in the event that we don't remove the function entirely uh, at this point i think it is simply too late to remove the function entirely uh practically anyway i feel like you would actually do infinitely more damage right now you would have like five players playing arbitrary number but you kind of get my point if you just remove turbo entirely so uh when it comes to separating the boards i think that a lot of these concerns regarding morality of my decision or something like that uh, on, on a grand scale uh i think that i, I think that would solve everything uh he does say something else at the beginning of this for way more effort in order to even get close to the time that a turbo can like close to a time that a turbo can get without trying you have to put so much practice into Ravenbeak, so much practice into a lot of other bosses, but this just gets ignored. You're taking a you're taking a skill out of the game when you allow turbo. Yeah, I agree. I think that you take away all that cognitive load, you take away all of the uh, the effort you have to put in to, especially on like any percent. And hundred percent is different. Um, like for example, when I do hundred percent NMG uh, or unrestricted, not unrestricted because I skip Ravenbeak, but on NMG. Uh, on things like the warriors, the shield warriors, on power bomb, gold chozo, and stuff, I just fucking run into them and I shoot behind their shields. I don't give a shit about my HP. It's very easy to uh, to do that because uh, you're not aiming up. It, it, it's 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 a lot easier um, to manually do uh, than something like Raven Beak Phase Two. But even on RB Phase Two, I don't give a fuck about my health. So all I care about is just keeping my hands in the same spot. I don't have to dodge anything because um, who cares if I get hit. And I can shoot him, and it's way, way easier. But when it comes to any percents, I, I completely agree uh, with, with this sentiment. The amount of effort that you put in on any percent Raven Beak Phase 2, uh, and to a lesser extent Phase 3, but it still applies, is, is tremendous compared to what Turbo will do for you. Uh, I'm already committed to using Turbo as a function because it allows me to continue playing at high rates. Uh, so, you know, like that, that's, that's just what I've decided on with my future with this game. Uh, I believe I touch on this in the video, but there is a possibility that I update my times with non-turbo times uh, just because I, I know that I can. And uh, I guess it would kind of be me just proving people wrong that I don't need uh, turbo or whatever, or, or that I need turbo or whatever to succeed, which is whatever. It'll take me a while to do it, but I will do it because uh, the... Funnily enough, the difficulty in beating those times would not be on the side of turbo. It would be on the side of uh, just playing better. Because I, I know where all my times are right now for every single category that I've played except for Hundo Glitchless. Uh, Hundo Glitchless is different. It's just the weak run. Uh, but for the, the other runs, I know that I would have to take a tremendous amount of effort into playing the game at a very high level across all of the splits, even before the even before turbo starts to have a significant impact. I would have to just play better, uh, which is very, very hard. But maybe I'll do it eventually. And some would argue that if I could do it now, why the hell did I do it earlier? Um, this is where another aspect of my personal uh, motivations come in. And this is a personal problem that I have. I'm saying it right now. So if anyone responds to this with that shit, uh, it's a personal attack, which is okay with me. But if you want to avoid ad hominem, or any sort of personal attack, then yeah, I'm saying it right now. This is a personal problem. Uh, I have an issue with being invested in things consecutively. 
uh, if, if I take a break. So, like, if I played this game for two months in a row or three months in a row, and I have a great time with it, played every day, which is actually reality, when I started playing on the March 27th last year, uh, and I take a break for a month, it is highly unlikely that I return with the same level of fervent passion, and it'll repeat until I just stop playing. This is something that I never want to do with this game. I can see myself playing this game for a very long time. That's one of the first games I've ever played that's like this across my 24 years of living. Um, so Turbo allowed me to bridge that gap with the end game where uh, at that point, I didn't even know really any way that I could mash. So at that point, I switched to Turbo to remove some of that, that load. And obviously, I was just kind of eating shit on Ravenbeak in terms of saving a billion time, which I didn't really understand until Plasma Skip, and now I get it. Right? At least I got it eventually. I, I'm sorry to all the people that, again, had to deal with me not getting it before that. But now I get it. All right. uh, the personal problem here is that I, I used it as a way to continue playing uh, basically without breaks, maybe except for like two, like a week break. Two, two week break, a week long breaks over the last year. Right? That's what I used as my bridge. Um, but that does not mean that I do not understand the, the difference in turbo and knots. Even though I started using it, not understanding the full ramifications competition wise and, mor and moral wise, um, morality wise rather, that does not mean that I don't get it now. Because time is really good. As time goes on, you think more. As you experience new things, your perspectives change. And for a lot of the people on the side against Turbo, their perspectives have not changed. But they're saying the same shit and it's hitting now because we're in a different environment where they can actually say this shit. And it's not dismissed immediately. So I, I, I think that this is one of the better times, which is why I'm responding to this video in particular. In this video setting, uh, for 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 this conversation to reemerge, I think that we're in a far better spot right now for that. Um, but I'm sure we'll get to that later. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead of this. We already watched this, right? Yeah. But what compared to my manual weaving, so it works out. I wonder what could have prompted that change. I mean, okay, so it. I mean, I don't know if that's a real question, but in all honesty, it happened because of plasma skip routing. Mm -hmm. I mentioned and when that. When that came out, I kind of like fully realized what was going on. Nice. So the thing is, I can't mash faster than my weave. It's it's very, very difficult to mash faster than even 12 hertz weaving. Very, very difficult. It is. What I will say, though, is that there are people that can temporarily exceed 12 hertz weaving, but they burn out quickly. And sometimes it averages out to a better time, which is what you see from Noya and Marsh in their boss rushing. Uh, same with other runners like Arcandy, who previously had the best RB mash ever. B-Dog before him. Fallen before uh, him. And at some point, there was yokura as well. Finally. And I, I don't want to do that competitive disservice. Yeah, uh, that's the thing, right? Like, I'll, I'll never be tired of having this conversation. There are people, I won't. When, they, when they get approached with questions like these, and conversation topics like these, and it eventually lands on, like, why do you use Turbo or something, right? There are people that don't want to answer that anymore, besides, like, a snark because I need it, or because it's allowed, because of the stigma that's around it, right? People will always say, you know, Turbo should be considered task, Turbo is not indicative of human, uh, of human play. I don't agree with the task thing. I think that Turbo is not task. But what I, like, TAS as in, like, the literal definition. Not the literal definition, but, like, the definition that's commonly accepted. But I do agree with saying that Turbo is not indicative of human capability. Because it, it's it's just not. We've mentioned this earlier in terms of cognitive load. And uh, literally just what you can and can't do with it physically. Right? Stuff like that. It, it's, it's always there. I'm not afraid to talk about it, though. Because I know that it's a predominant question. And the point is to educate about what the benefits are. There's nothing to educate on. It's a sheer fact of the situation. Turbo is an advantage. You can't get around that. I don't care how bad the controller you're using is. Turbo is an advantage. Now he's not. He's not necessarily saying that here, but it can be construed that way. Yep. Uh, if one chooses to. I think we've know, touched base there. One chooses to perceive his words in a certain way, at least. I mean, if if someone chooses to perceive my words there in that way, I'd argue that they're actually part of the problem, in the sense that a turbo supporter could choose to perceive my words there in the sense that like it's it it's an advantage but it's not that big of a deal not that's not what we're doing here right the the issue the the thing is when we when i say to educate on what turbo can and cannot provide 
in terms of the benefits, we're talking about educating based on allowing it to remain as a choice for you to continue playing the game. We're talking about educating in the sense that it does save time. That is not controvertible. And no matter what, it will always save time because people cannot beat automation. I think we're learning that every day, actually, as we as we grow further into the information era. Um, so so like, yeah, like I agree with them. It's it's 100 percent an advantage. And if somebody chooses to perceive the words there uh, in 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 the earlier, you know, uh, in, in, in the earlier way that I mentioned, uh, I would argue that they are actually part of the problem because there is a level of dishonesty in minimizing the fact that it does save time. I used to be one of those people. I no longer am, for good reason. I have a lot of time to think about it. So in my case, right, I use it because I cannot play the game at the quantity that I do if I don't have it. And this this is a major problem to me. Um, actually, I should let him explain himself fully. But the thing is, I also completely understand the competitive the competitive question, which is that turbo just it just saves time if you can't mash at the same level. I can, for short bursts, just not for hours a day. See, this is a problem. Just because you can for short bursts and not for hours a day, then what What about the people who can do that for long periods of time? Like me, or Fallen, or... Uh, I don't know about Arcandy. I know he said that he has issues with doing this stuff for too long, but... Like... <sighs> my brain hurts! Oh my god. Oh, this video, dude. I'll, I'll I ignore that. Okay. Mm, I obviously saying, like, my brain hurts when it comes to uh, something you're responding to in a video. It's not really... It doesn't really do anything. Um... But uh, it's whatever. We have to put in an incredible amount of work to be able to do this for long periods of time. And the fact that you can just automate it is just incredibly disrespectful already. Um, I need to choose my words very carefully here. Uh, the way that I say this can change the overall meaning. Uh, I agree that there is a considerable amount of effort that needs to be done or an incredible which is the word he uses i think it's actually more than that uh in order to continuously uh get extremely strong like raven beak times for example well it's the main example in fact it might even just be the case uh it it, it takes a very very considerable amount of effort and time invested in order to reach that uh, and this is where I personally disagree with B Dog's perspective. I think that we can both be right here and not touch base. Um, at the end of the day, this is a single player hobby. So if somebody subverts my effort, uh, and and th th this isn't even just in like you know in in speed running, uh, which some would argue or not even argue, it's just true. I cannot touch base with that side. Because I guess in this case, I'm the aggressor. I'm the one disrespecting. So, so it is what it is. Uh, but in, sim in similar situations like these, which has happened in my, in, in my social life or my gaming career. I obviously am not a fucking professional or anything, but you know what I mean. Um, it, it's happened before. So, for example, uh, I used to be an avid League of Legends player. I reached relatively high ranks before. Uh, but I did it without using uh, some of the stronger champions in the game. I used whatever I thought I had the most fun with, right? I invested my time into learning the game as opposed to learning my champs. And I reached what I thought was a pretty decent level at the game as a result. It took me years and years. Um, as compared to people who pick up the game, uh, learn the game at its, at its fundamentals... And then just play flavor champions every single month as the patches cycle and cycle. They play the best champions in the game and reach my rank. I don't personally feel any sort of disrespect from this. Because while it, the cognitive load, the amount of effort you need to put in, is a lot less if you play the best of champions. Uh, for me, that's just a choice that I elected into. To, to not do what they're doing, to get possibly what could have been a higher rank than my peak. Uh, like, I, you know, it's, it's, it's a choice that I elected into. Um, and because it's the choice that I made, 
I don't feel any sort of way regarding people who picked the easier way out. And in this case, Turbo is the easy way out. It, it, it's just true with regards to uh, the end game boss fights in particular. Um, I stand by the fact that Turbo allows me to continue playing uh, at a high, high rate. Uh, I stand by the fact that it, I, I, I'll continue to regulate its usage so that my times will not be earth-shattering compared to other people's times uh, in the event that they choose to potentially compare times. Uh, I have my splits very, very open on the screen, and I'll always mention that I don't use Turbo on Ravenbeak. I use it so I can keep playing at the rate that I am. I don't think it is necessarily a disrespect to those that have worked that hard on it because in my case I was in similar situations before and I didn't feel disrespect I just felt like I just chose the more difficult path because it was more personally fulfilling in this case I don't think he's wrong I think there is merit in seeing it as disrespect in my case I would hope that there are people who see merit in seeing it as a personal choice. I think that we can both be true. Anyway, that, that's all I have to say about that. I, I, it's really important that I say this, though. I think that we can both agree to disagree, yet also both be correct. Because it's subjective. It's a, per, it's a personal thing. Yeah? So, just because you can do it for short periods of time, that even if you can do it for long periods of time, that doesn't justify it. That doesn't. That's not a justification. That's just, like, if you can do it for long periods of time, um, which he's not saying here, why not do it for that amount of time? Which, if he could, I don't know if he would. Um, I that'd would. be a question I'd have to ask him. Um, yeah, I'll just answer it here. Uh, I'll probably end up replacing at least some of my uh, my, my runs on the leaderboards with non-turbo times. Um, I probably won't do it for, like, short boost NMG, because that category actually fucking sucks massive badonka dick, but, yeah, like, you, you get what I mean. Uh, but, like, if you can, it's, a, it's even worse, because he's saying he can only do it for short periods of time, so he can't even do what he's stating. He can't play the game for, I don't know, let's say four hours a day, and do all this Raven Beacon weaving mashing stuff, like, what? I, I just, I don't know what to say sometimes, because these arguments are made of straw. They, they, they don't it's uh, i guess okay to be fair to him he is in this situation he is talking on stream and he's also doing a run so he's not 100 percent into the conversation yeah, i'm glad we agree on that but uh, so his reasoning isn't going to be exactly perfect nope. at least the way he describes it here uh but i've spoken with him on a few occasions privately when he has had time to think and the, the answer is the same so that's why i feel comfortable doing this that's fine because i've heard everything in this video i've heard before none of it is new to me it was just merely i guess it's just all in one place now yep which is why the video he's putting out in response is important and i think that every single person who participated in the old discussion should watch this video in full because like i i don't know what he says obviously i like i said this is the first time I'm watching this video but i guarantee you that it will have everything needed to understand the complete issues from the side of the turbo detractors uh which is what i'll i'll as the word i'll use here i i don't even think it's uh it's an exaggeration or the people who just simply did not like the pro-turbo advocates uh, in that discussion. Um, because you can look up the first handful of messages in the thread, immediately pinpoint like three or four people that are just saying shit to say shit. Uh, they did not give a fuck about actually arguing or discussing or reaching base. They, they, they just cared about saying what they wanted to say. And I, I, I think that a video like this from someone who was affected by that sort of, you know, quite frankly, abhorrent behavior, uh, I, I think it's important. Uh, it had to come out at some point, and I'm glad it's coming out at all. So, anyways, I'll let it continue. Right. So, I'll...
I'll like I'll you'll see me weaving on warriors manually, for example. Because I can, I'm able to. This is a really good catarist, by the way. And, like you'll you'll see me in these positions where I'm weaving very well on things like warriors, uh, on like the bots, for example, and it's all manual. And if I didn't have noise suppression, you'd hear it. I'd just have noise suppression because my computer fans are very loud. And hopefully now it's starting to make sense. Why I elect not to use turbo in particular on like Ravenbeak. Unless I specifically say, to hell with it, I'm going to do it, because whatever. Whatever reason I might have. Right? Um, not necessarily related to what his justifications are, but, well, I mean, it is. Uh, but, like, any specific reason, but... Having to give yourself a reason to do these kind of things already just makes it... <laughs> I don't know, like... Someone with a, a legitimate point wouldn't ever have to say oh because of whatever reason i might have to do x thing you you should already know all of your reasons i do exactly why um which he could but he doesn't uh he doesn't display that here clearly awesome. yeah um th this is the first time i take uh I, I i i take concern with this because in the 30 seconds prior to this he mentions that i am on stream so it's only fair uh and then he just goes against it immediately um, but again, he's also doing this with one take, so I take it with a grain of salt. It doesn't really affect me. What I will say is that I do have my reasons to to sometimes just switch it up at the end of a run. I mentioned earlier, if I'm just on a bad run, I just I'm if I'm at Raven Beak, I might as well complete the run. So I'm just gonna you know get it get it over with as fast as possible and use it as a way to say let's say say like to my stream, hey, this is why I don't do this. Right, I mentioned that earlier. Um, yeah. And uh, I guess I can also say, with the case of Hundo Glitchless, where I have mentioned that I just don't care enough about it, so I just say whatever, uh, if there is the chance that a runner shows up who can beat that time, um, but would potentially be on the case of being minus 8 going in and then plus 5 going out, I'll remove the time, or I'll spend that day to get a better time on that category without weaving on Ravenbeak. Because it's it, I can do that. For sure. Uh, those some people might see it as disrespectful that I'm undermining someone's grind uh, by by not allowing them to to get close to a world record time. Uh, competition is zero sum, as I mentioned earlier. Someone has to lose, and I'll do what I need to do to make sure that I stay winning. I'm sorry, that's just my competitive nature. I'm very very uh, competitive in this regard. Really good counters, Jesus Christ. But yeah, like um, even during the tournament, right? Uh, Sonic Orochi, I believe, was the one who would consistently say when he was casting uh, matches I was in. And the question, like, uh, whenever my uses of Turbo came out, right? And he, what he said was very true. I don't use Turbo to get an advantage. I use it to save my hands so I can play and compete at this level. That's what's important here. See, this is already, a, this is a problem. Again, if you're using it to save your hands, why does it matter that you are compared to non-Turbo users? Because we don't want to be compared to Turbo at all. Uh, it's just unfair to us. You know, that's that's an entire conversation in itself, which I'll get into in other videos. But like, it's just if you're using it to save your hands, you shouldn't care about the the advantage it gives you. Really, you should just use it. If you genuinely believe it's saving your hands, you should use it. Um. You know, if, if that's what you want, but wanting to save your hands and then also be competitive with non-turbo users, you're, it's just very contradictive. You, you can't have both. No, you can't have both. You can, as I've detailed earlier. Um, this is, this is the case where I think that he's just incorrect. Um, you, you can have both for sure. Uh, in this case in particular, there's 95% of the game, like I said, an arbitrary number. I don't know if I said that, but, um, I'll say it again. Is an arbitrary number, but 95% of the game is not affected by turbo usage. You still have to play at the best level if you want to reach the times that me and those around me get uh, to get some of these times on certain splits. Like, fucking all of the splits up here and the 15 billion splits under it, um, you, you, you have to play at a very high level uh, if you want to reach those times. So, yes, I compare to non-turbo runners in those splits because turbo does nothing. Or relatively nothing. It does reduce cognitive load in certain rooms. Uh, for example, uh, when going to Berenia 1 or Berenia 2. Or Berenia 3 uh, in, in MS%. Percent. Fuck the category though. Uh, no offense to the runners that run it. Or the runner that made it. It's just that the category isn't really played. It's a category extension for a reason. Um, 
I, I, I still compare my times in those regards because Turbo has very little comparison because most of it is execution. So I will still compare my times. And if I can equalize the Turbo difference in times, then I will. Because, again, I want to continue comparing. I want to continue to test myself against other runners of this caliber. I want to continue seeing if I'm regressing or if I've, I've plateaued or stuff like that. It, it's just what I will do. Now, to, to say that it's binary and that if you don't do it, then you, if you don't want to do it, then you shouldn't. And if you use it, you got to own it. I don't think that's true. It's not binary. Right there, there, you can make concessions, and to to dismiss that, which I'm not saying he's dismissing it, but for those who dismiss that, I think it's inherently disingenuous to the personal reasons of the person in question, and it all it's also disingenuous because it it undermines the fact that again much of this game is based on execution. Uh, I'm sure that there will be fundamental disagreements with this perspective, but again, it's a perspective, right? And I mean, I guess I, I did also say that I think he's just wrong here. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it is what it is. It's not possible. And this has been very, very clearly shown. Ask every single non-turbo runner in the top 20 of any leaderboard on the site, any leaderboard on the site, um, but probably choose any percent NMG or any percent unrestricted. Ask any non-turbo runner and they're going to say, I don't want to be compared to turbo users. Every single one of them. I can guarantee you without a doubt, every single one of them will say that. Um, because it's just not fair. So we don't care what your justifications are. We don't want to be compared to you. And that's, that's the main issue here. You know, even though his justifications are terrible, in my opinion, uh, outside of that, this shouldn't even be a conversation that needs to be had because there's no, there is no problem to solve. This is a very, very clear yes or no. Do you want to be compared to Turbo? Every single person, pretty much every single non-Turbo runner in general would probably say, no, I do not want to. Um, in terms of the boss fights, at least, obviously movement and stuff, they're going to compare because that Turbo has no impact on movement whatsoever. Okay, so we agree there. Yeah. So so I agree, right? Like, boss fights, Ravenbeak Phase 2 in particular, there there's literally no reason to compare because... Turbo and non, it's it, it's just it's it's not even close. Which again is why I don't weave with Turbo on those fights, right? Unless I know I won't have a good time anyway. In which case I'll do it. Excuse me. Oh my god. In which case I'll do it anyway, just to illustrate, like what's going on. Everything I do with this function is both for my personal ability to continue playing at a high rate, and also to illustrate what's going on with this function. Some will say, why don't you use Turbo on Ravenbeak? I'll say it in response, have you seen what it's like? You know what I mean? So yeah, like, it, 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 it just is what it is. Now, to again, I'll, I'll say this again, to, to say that it can't be binary, or to, to, to say that it's binary, and that you, you do it or you don't, and there's no, there's no possible way to resolve the two, that that's a perspective thing and so to say that you can ask any non-turbo runner if they want to be compared to turbo runs right uh and and they'll say like yeah i, I don't want that they, they wouldn't want it i agree which again is why i don't use it on rb2 or rb3 in normal settings and if people don't want to accept that then by all means you don't have to consume my content if people don't like talking about this and they don't like to hear me talk about it then by all means you don't have to consume this part of my content but i'm always going to be up and honest with everybody like, even today, this morning, while I was running my errands and doing some, um, some stuff for the family, like, I just, I just got really bored. So, I looked up some old content from Dread, and eventually I landed on some of the videos that Oates made about the Turbo discussion, way back in January and December. Like, listening to them again after it being six months since I last heard, uh, last saw the VODs, like, it's good stuff. Like, those videos are actually pretty good. They do a good job at explaining, for both sides, like, what the... See, I disagree here, because, and I'm gonna call him out on this, the only real reason he's suggesting those things... Uh, I mean, first off, there's not much <laughs> anti-turbo related uh, speaking points out there, but it's like there's definitely some selective uh, choosing of which content he considers good because it benefits to what he believes, um, which Oats' turbo videos do kind of do that. I haven't watched them in a while, but they do represent the points in a way where 
from what I remember at least, where accessibility is a 100% good thing that you know needs to be taken into account. And I completely disagree with that, but that's just purely a disagreement. Um, and that's like, I mean, that's honestly the root of this entire thing is a, is a disagreement on whether or not accessibility or uh, competitive integrity are, or which one is more important. And in this case, there, like, there is one very, very simple solution when it comes to striking the balance between the two. Uh, I'm, I'm going to predict here. Uh, split the boards? And then having two, it's separating the boards. <laughs> I'm glad we agree. Having a non-turbo board and a turbo board. Because they, these are fundamentally different styles of gameplay in the boss fights. It's, it's fundamentally different. You cannot deny that, no matter what. And I'll go into this in other videos, related, especially related to the original Turbo Thread. Um, there, there was a very extreme... Um, how should I put this? There was an extreme uh, notion that absolutely no matter what, we cannot split the boards from the pro turbo side that was an absolute no which basically mm -hmm. means in that case their side wins no matter what yep absolutely no matter what you can't if if the argument becomes we can't have them on separate boards they need to be on the same board because of you know being ostracized or whatever yeah turbo run non-turbo advocates already lose as a result of this if 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 they can't even reach that compromise then they they've lost already uh, which again turns the discussion from what should not be zero sum to zero sum. They've already lost. You just you failed completely. Yep. You can't. There is there's no conversation to be had at that point. Yep. You have already decided the outcome of the conversation. Yep. You're just uh, you're just playing with the details at that point. Yep. You can't touch base. I agree with that, completely. Um, and I'm sure he's gonna elaborate on that again uh, as I unpause this video. So I'm not even going to continue on that. I just agree with him completely on that what i will say about what he said prior to that regarding me what he essentially um argues that i cherry picked that video or that the, those videos uh, to bolster my argument um the proof against that is actually that i'm reacting to this and saying that he has good points because this video stands in direct contradiction to my video yet i'm still discussing and i'm still arguing it and if people say what do you think about this? I'm going to say that's a good video. All right? Obviously, I'm only a third of the way in, but I'm sure, given the quality of it so far, it's a good video. Right? I'm not going to lie to people and be like, you know, like, because uh, if, if, if I deliberately obfuscate uh, a video that's out because it's against my, my understanding uh, or it's against my beliefs, I would be lying. I'm not going to do that. So for me, the reason why... I selectively pick Oates' videos is because they're the only videos that I've seen about this topic. The rest is in snippets of conversation or the turbo thread, which is just not very good. <laughs> like, I will never argue that that discussion was a good discussion. So, so to argue that I'm selectively uh, picking this one because it bolsters my points is a little dishonest, um, but I'm pretty sure that you know like he's doing this in one take so yeah i'm pretty sure he's thought about it before though which is why it concerns me that um he he thinks that i cherry picked th that those pieces of content because there are some things in that in that content that i disagree with as well there there are some things there that i disagree with but most of it has to do with the fact that uh turbo and its it, it's its impacts with 12 15 20 and then uncapped uh most of it wasn't very, very well researched. Um, most of that research came about on the second discussion that lowered the cap to 12 uh, later, which I will admit right now, I didn't really conduct myself well in those discussions, uh, which is why if we did it now, it'd go a lot better on my end, at least. Um, but yeah, like there, there just wasn't much to go off of uh, with respect to the old discussions, aside from Oates' video. And snippets of conversation and the and the thread. So, what do you want me to do? Pick something that doesn't exist? I'm not gonna do that, right? So yeah.
Uh, but like I said, I'll go into it a lot more in a later video. Okay, good. What the, the positives and negatives of the function are, and that there there should be a willingness to accept the positives, and also accept the negatives at the same time, but understand that the positives are more inclusive. It's good stuff. It's really good stuff. Unfortunately, there are people who will watch that video, uh, watch those videos, and uh, come to the complete wrong conclusion. I mean, have you seen that comment section? So I, I say this here because there are people who know fuck all about dread and they put in the comment then they talk they talk in the comment section of those videos as if they have any say. If you don't know shit about this game, don't say shit. Uh, which also extends to the people who did barely any research and kept saying shit. Which is another reason why that discussion is actually terrible. For the pro turbo advocates who are saying shit like, you know, it doesn't save much time. No, it saves a lot. You know, it, 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 saving any is, is a lot already. I'm sorry, because of the way that you're saving the time, the cognitive load. It, it is what it is. It's incontrovertible. I'm going to say that word a lot. because it, it's, it's a good word. God almighty. The video also, like those videos also uh, talk about how the old discussion was like disgusting and just not good. And like actually full of shit. I'd, I'd honestly love to have a server discussion on that again in current time. And hard police. Uh, that's not gonna happen because there's no need for it. Yep. Like, I wonder what the conversation would be like now. Now that more people are educated, you know what I mean. Now, obviously, the flow of those conversations change based on who's active at the time. I'd say right now, uh, the flow of time has made it so that we have more people that are understanding. So obviously, the conversation will be a lot more simple in that there will be less monkey shit flinging and more understanding and handshaking. But whatever. It's worth noting that the shit flinging he refers to, and that he's going to continue to call uh, throughout the rest of this video, uh, was entirely one-sided. Maybe you can find a couple comments from the anti-turbo side that were rude and disrespectful towards the pro-turbo side, but 90, at least 99% of the, uh, I guess you could call it harassment, um, that was present in that thread came from the pro-turbo side. I mean, seriously, go, anybody can go right now into the Discord. Mm -hmm. Go into the discussion thread, or go into the discussion channel. There's an archive thread of the original turbo discussion. The uh, last message posted in it would have been in december 31st 2021 yep and if you look at the first let's say 400 500 messages of it you know exactly what i mean yep. exactly what i mean and sure that is an extraordinarily long thread there is hours upon hours upon hours of reading necessary to fully understand that thread so 400 500 messages realistically doesn't represent the entire thread but it's like I said, I'll go over that entire thread in a later video, but trust me when I say, at no point was it ever a, uh, was it ever a, like, two-sided debate or, um, being aggressive towards each other. It was, it was so one-sided. <laughs> it's hilarious. Which, I know he doesn't say it yet, but at one point he does say, um, that the shit-flinging, what he calls, comes from both sides. So, I'll let it play out just to get to that point. Um, yeah, I, I, I do hold a slight belief that, um, both sides, not to the same magnitude, but both sides of the discussion had unsavory intentions. Um, and one of the, so like the, the main thing here, right? It goes back to what I said earlier. There are people who know fuck all about dread that inject their opinions and, and they, they, they say what they want to say. They don't care about actually expanding on it. They don't care about uh, discussing about it. They say what they want to say. A lot of that comes from comment sections on those videos. A lot of that comes from people who come in as a one-off and just say, Turbo is bad, or Turbo is TAS, and they don't elaborate any further, and they leave the server after seeing that there are people who don't care. Um, I, I've, I've seen it, right? So that's part of where the turbo detractor shit flinging, quote unquote, comes from. What I will agree with is that much of it was one sided and that it came from the side of the turbo advocates. I'm going to say that straight up because he's not wrong. It's true. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm looking to respond to this video, which I'm obviously saying an hour in now, is because I know that he does not. Like, he, he cares about not being wrong, which is important, right? Which is why he's doing this, you know, in, in a video after giving a thought. So, yeah, I appreciate that. 
And that's why I'm also doing this. Uh, whether I upload this or not uh, as a public video or unlisted is up for debate yet, but yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I, I completely agree with what he put forward here. I think the damage is unfortunately irreparable. It'll take a very long time for that damage to heal. I don't even know if the damage will heal, I'll be honest. I, I said that on stream because I wanted to have hope, but yeah. But hopefully, if and when Oats returns to Dread, if and when Arcandy and the other big names, Carter Free, for example, if and when they return to Dread, we'll see the general public will see that the game is in a much more positive light. And I do not doubt that there will be points where someone will look at my times. Oh, I forgot I said this. And yeah, so has this is not going to be good. And to that, I will say, I can triple your time with my feet. So whatever. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So before we get to what I was talking about previously, uh, the comment he just said is incredibly disrespectful to anybody who has a brain. Uh, because I, it doesn't matter if you're good at the rest of the game without Turbo. The fact is, you still have an advantage. Anybody can call that out, okay? If if a person in a sports league is using steroids to gain an advantage, and then a fan calls them out, and then they say, oh, well, I can beat you without the steroids anyways, you know, like super easily. It's like, yeah, obviously, you still have an unfair advantage. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not related. <laughs> Uh, it's a fucking video, dude. Oh my lord. Okay. Exactly. Anyways. Yeah, uh, I'll agree that what I said there, um, if I could remove it right now, I would. Um, I just felt it would be dishonest to not include it because I said it. So, yeah, like, I'm, I'm gonna own that. I said that, and I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's all I'll say. It's my bad, completely. That's probably the only thing in this video that I don't substantiate. Um... It, it, it is disrespectful. Uh, yeah. Right? Let's handshake on these details that we're sharing with each other, because both of us have a point. Health I'm, I'm going to explain why the Pro Turbo side has no point at all. At least to the extent that they were arguing about yep. how they should be on the same leaderboard. They See, I, I, I like that he, he says that to the point they were arguing, by the way. Because, um, yeah, like, at, 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 at the extent that they were arguing, there, there was no fucking point. For sure. Right. There's a reason why I bash it, because some of the shit that was said was shit. It just like why why the fuck would you argue in the way that you are? Uh, it does nothing for the discussion. Um, it's impossible to agree with at a certain extent, and I eagerly await his dissection of that thread. Um, yeah. Oh, whoops. Wrong, wrong no ground to stand on whatsoever. But I'll, I'll go over that in later videos. Yep. Healthy, productive discussion, moderated well, less dismissal. Right? That would be nice. Eventually, it would be. we'll reach a point where we can have that sort of discussion within the speedrunning community as a whole. And I feel like, um, I remember from, uh, when Summoning Salt did a Mega Man video, or a Rockman video in particular, and how I believe it was the overseas. By the way, I rewatched that video. Uh, it's Wily, not Sigma. I don't know why it said Sigma. It was just the first Mega Man boss that came to mind. Uh, my bad. Maybe the Japanese community had a loud auto fire for Sigma or something, or whatever that boss is called. Because it was just fucked up, right? So they just, they just allowed it. So I feel like we're already in the right direction. Okay, so to go over that situation perfectly, he, or specifically, he did not at all explain that well. Like, I don't think that was intentional, but holy shit, please shut the fuck up if you don't know what you're talking about. Um, okay, so the situation of Rockman 2. Early on in speedrunning days, when the Japanese and English communities weren't very uh, connected to each other, for Rockman 2, or Mega Man 2 as it's called in the West, but... Uh, the game, the version of the game that uh, most runners play on nowadays is Rockman 2. Uh, the Japanese community allowed Turbo because you can use certain you can use certain weapons um, with no, I believe, no uh, fire rate cap. I could be wrong. They're they're uh, I think it's specifically the boomerang ability. I I don't remember what it's called. I I apologize to anybody who uh, runs that game or is an avid viewer of that game. Uh, but I believe that's a, that's the ability that has no fire rate cooldown. Uh, and it's used on quite a few bosses, especially in the Wily stages. Uh, which he says Sigma, which, that's Mega Man X. I don't even know where the fuck that came from, honestly. Uh, it came from the fact that they're both Mega Man games, and I don't really play Mega Man games. Yeah, my bad. Um, but yes, it was used primarily for those bosses, because the fastest form of killing them is to mash that item out. Uh, specifically, the tank boss in Wily 2, I want to say, and the dragon boss in, in Wily 1. I apologize if I if I got alien as well, right? Yeah. Any of that wrong, but I believe that's the case here, or that's the case there, rather. <laughs> Anyways, this is just something small I 
or not small, but something I wanted to go over. I mean, okay, so the thing is, he he bashes on me for talking about something I had no idea about, which is valid. Um, but at the same time, right? I I feel like still what I said wasn't necessarily untrue. After adjusting for the things that I don't know about, um, saying that things have no fire rate, right? Uh, have like, and then the the, the community, uh, the Japanese community in particular, allowed Turbo. Um, to to adjust for that, right? It it still doesn't. I I'm still not like off base. With with specific specifically what I said, I could have been more eloquent. I could have been more um. I could have been more into detail about that. But again, right? He he says that you shouldn't talk about it if you don't know what you're talking about. I agree. But as a viewer who watched the video, I have some baseline understanding of the message that was being sent, and the way that I interpreted it. Even though I don't know the Japanese community's intention at the time of uh, making the decision, the way that I interpreted it was the fact that it was even allowed in the first place is conclusive proof that there was a reason for it, which is not really conclusive proof, I guess, but it's, it's just a logical one-two conclusion. It's Boolean. Um, so, like, for, for the effect to be there, there must be a cause. And the cause that I interpreted was the Japanese community felt it was necessary to implement auto fire or turbo uh, for, those, uh, for those weapons or for that fight in particular or for those fights in particular, whatever the case may be, because there was a necessity for it, All right? That's what I saw it as. Now, whether that's actually true or not is whatever, in my opinion, because that's the conclusion I draw as a viewer. And the point of this bit on in the, in, in the video was to show that at least there's conversation that can start as a result of people watching the video. And then there are people who know more about it that can come in and educate and give more prolific discussion based on the starting point the video has provided. I feel like he missed that point just now, uh, which is not his fault. I think I could have said that in the video. Again, that's why I'm making this so that I can elaborate. With exposing to the and, and yeah, again, like just as he apologized, I apologize if I misrepresented Mega Man in any way. General public about stuff like that it just makes sense unfortunately dread was supposed to do that and make a progressive stance and show that the community was open to inclusion and that it is a good thing if other communities could do the same thing and then they fucked up and we lost a bajillion people who no longer have an interest in returning he's right about this uh <laughs> yeah the turbo the entire turbo discussion decision in general i i mean it it, it killed a, a game that would would have already lost a lot of people just due to uh one certain patches, or yep. like patching certain glitches from the developers, mm -hmm. and it, it just made it so much worse, so so much worse than it had to be. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. All right, we just have to deal with the aftermath. It is what it is. There's, there's there's no going around it. So all I can do is just be faithful to my own beliefs within the game, or within the speed game rather, and how I like to conduct myself, knowing that I use auto fire or knowing that I use turbo, and just be honest with people. And I think that that's something that needs to be done across all sides of this conversation. Just be honest with the other side. Yeah. Because I also get this feeling that in that old discussion, a lot of these people, did just, they just did not want to talk to each other. They didn't want to actually talk. They just wanted to say what they wanted to say. He's 100% right when he says this. Um, at least when it comes to the Pro Turbo side. They just, wanted, they just wanted to make sure they got what they want. They didn't care about actually addressing the other side's points. Mm -hmm. They just said, no, fuck you. Agreed. Like, I mean, pretty much literally. I mean, you, you can find several comments in that thread that probably uh, the Pro Turbo side is just like, yeah, fuck you. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that would be the end of it. Yeah, uh, I, I read... I, I, I sifted through the, the thread again last night before I went to bed. Uh, yeah, he's right. And I guess I was right as well. Uh, thank God. Um, there were a lot of people that just went in to say what they wanted to say. And if you at all mildly even disagreed with reasons, uh, fuck you, basically, was the response. And like with regards to ableism, which I believe is is definitely uh, something that is 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 worth defending, but in in certain discussions or in certain um, side discussions within that umbrella, uh, ableism was used in a way that is completely disingenuous to the points that were being made by those who were arguing about the legitimacy of competitive integrity uh, when allowing turbo. I think ableism. Uh, doesn't really fit some of those contexts. Now, some people will hear that and just, you know, condemn me to all hells of the earth. But, you know, like, 
I, I'm supporting you there. Right? There, there, there's a level of compassion I have for that. I just think that you can't just use it everywhere in the this in this discussion. Um, because speedrunning is inherently competitive. I may say at the end of the day, it's a single player experience. But if you want to enrich that experience, you do need to add some multiplayer aspects in it, and that's where competition is unavoidable. So it's not ableist to say that turbo saves time, so it should split the board. I don't think that's ableism. I think people see, saw it that way at the point because they were, you know, like for, for whatever reason they, they might have. I don't think the reason actually matters. Um, I think there are times where you can inject that level and there are times where you have to set it aside so you can have an actual productive discussion. So, uh, but I, I believe soon he's going to say the thing about both sides. I also kind of plan to um, get to a point because all my times right now are beatable without turbo if I if I try and I get like I grind good early games and I don't mess up the major stuff. I don't have a single time I can't beat without turbo right now. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about doing that. Like I'm genuinely kind of thinking about doing that. I am. But maybe I'll take it a step at a time. See, but I don't understand if he's thinking about doing that just to, uh, just to, uh, look, uh, you know, make it seem like, or, or I guess prove to the doubters that, yeah, he can get world records without turbo, then why not just do that in the first place to retain competitive integrity? Uh, I mentioned this earlier, it's, it's precisely so that I can keep playing. Uh, at this point, I'm now able to... Uh, to to consider it because I've already put in all that work to improve or or to 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 get to a level where um, I I can consider it now without losing passion. Now some maybe like obviously it's not the most concrete argument, but it was my personal choice and now I can actually touch base. So it's something that I chose for my personal growth, and yet I'm still agreeing anyway on some of these things. Uh, regarding turbo and its impact so you know like just just accept that it's my personal it's 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 what i did like what <laughs> like the fact that uh, the fact that he says this means, he, means he's not going to do it that's false and if he does do it, it honestly he's just kind of stupid honestly i huh? i mean i'm sorry for insulting him like that but that, that's just stupid a stupid way of thinking and conducting yourself but anyways uh he doesn't elaborate so maybe i'll just ask him in private but um yeah I, I don't really see how that's stupid personally if i need to make a statement about my own play as someone who is predominant in the scene then i really don't see how that's stupid personally but it is what it is like i i'm doing it to prove to to, to myself in, in, in particular, but to other people as well who may have uh, those doubts that I, I don't need this function to play at a top level. So, how is that stupid? Because it, it falls under the line of personal growth in the game. So yeah, I, I, don't really, I don't really get it. I don't know. Turbo is necessary for the well-being of any speedrunners in the game. Matching is so bad for your wrist. Um, so I'd actually say that that's a dangerous stance to take. Agario, not that I think that you're you're saying it in this way, but the way that that reads is is it's rather dangerous. The point of allowing turbo is not to claim that you should use it; it's that the option is open for you to use it. That's what needs to be at the forefront. So, for example, okay, so he's completely right when he says that Glad you should agree. never ever ever uh, tell someone to use turbo to save their hands. That is purely a personal decision. Yep, and. If you read the first 400 or so messages in that thread, you're going to find a shit ton of that. You're going to find a ton of that. It is... Holy shit! It's so bad. It's infuriating, honestly. Anybody, any non-turbo runner, if you read the first 400 or so messages in the thread, I, like, that just, like, instantly ruins your day. Because it's so unbelievable <laughs> that people that people can argue like this and think that they're in the right and being, you know, whatever. Um, I also think the argument of, well, you have the choice, and he's not necessarily saying this, but this was said a lot in that thread, um, is like, well, you have the choice to use Turbo, so you can play fairly with the other people who use Turbo. It's like, that's not the point. I yep, it's not the point. You, you don't tell people in any regard 
to 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 switch their choices or to switch the way they want to play the game. You don't do that. That's not like I I'm pretty sure I say it like five minutes like in the next like minute. Like people don't like being told what to do. So, you know, like just don't tell people to that. You know the the choice is there, so you should no. Don't do that. That is incomprehensibly stupid. Don't don't do that ever. Don't want to use it, and I don't want to be compared to them. You're still comparing my non-turbo time to their turbo time. What the fuck? Anyways, like I said, we'll get into that thread in other videos. <laughs> when turbo was at twenty hertz, if you wanted to compete with someone at your level who uses turbo, you needed to buy turbo. It had to happen. Now we've lowered it to twelve hertz. It's no longer a necess it's not a necessity anymore. Twelve hertz is surpassable. Uh, if the other runner does not weave with turbo, it is easily beatable if you can weave. So it's a competitive option. That's where it should be. It should be that healthy. As soon as it becomes a matter of necessity, it is no longer healthy. And that's where you get these like, these like inane arguments between these people who are like, why are we making this required? And then the other side says, because it's good for my hands or it's because it's good for everyone's hands. Like mashing is not a good thing, but you can find a form that works for you. Many people have, and they're not hurting yet, but it's also the same thing, right? Like speed running is inherently a, a repetitive like activity. Inherently, it is very likely that many of us will develop wrist issues in the future, not because we're mashing our hearts out or in particular, we're doing something that literally falls under repetitive stress. So if you can find a form that's ergonomic and works for you, then that argument no longer applies. So when you when people preach that turbo is, is a necessity because it beats mashing and mashing is bad, you're deliberately ignoring the side of the community that can function without it. And that is not a good thing. That's extremely dangerous because like no one wants to be told what to do. Number one. Right? That's just the fact of humans. Yeah, we I don't see want it here. to be told what to do. So when someone tells us you gotta get turbo or you're gonna lose time, right? Like, <laughs> right? Or you gotta get turbo because your hands are gonna suffer. Don't tell me that my hands are gonna suffer. I know my hands better than you, right? I could play this game without turbo. Can I play it as much as I do right now? No. Which is why I use turbo. I have a reason. Right? I've thought about it. I've experimented with and without it. Stuff like that. Yes, the option is necessary, but we should keep it as an option. Yeah. See, wording there is really important. Which is why, also, the older discussion was not a good discussion. Because most people were just saying what came to their head, and they just ignored their fucking wording. So it just came across as huge shit-flinging. Very, very huge shit-flinging. And the people that actually had articulated opinions on either side of the discussion were ignored to some extent because of the shit-flinging. Right? How do you put out a big How do you put out a fire? And for, for many, the answer is get some water. But for some people, it was create a bigger fucking fire. Like, what? You know? It's an interesting case study in, like, how to destroy a community, actually. That, that discussion is actually still in the Dread Discord. You can go, it's in the archives. You can pull it up. If you wanted to read it, like, like you, you'll see why the community is where it's at right now. <laughs> Dude, I, I read it last year because I really wanted to, I really, really wanted to see why this community ended up being not as fruitful as it should have been. And then, I, and then it just, it became immediately obvious. Immediately obvious. I was always on the side of Turbo being allowed, at least at a humanly, of yes, I agree. I completely agree with you. One million percent. If I could run at 10, I would run at 10. Unfortunately, there is no controller that's like something. Okay, so to go over the whole humanly achievable thing, it doesn't matter if it's humanly achievable or not. You are automating something that is a skill. Mm -hmm. Mashing is a skill. When it comes when it comes to this game, mashing is a skill. You yep. are having to um, you're having to uh, take into account the uh, dodging the boss and aiming at the boss and whatever else you might have to be doing. It's not like text mashing. Text mashing that's not skill. That's just I, yeah, I, I completely agree there, but. This is a different game. This is a game where mashing affects bosses, which changes how you fight them. But, anyways. I don't even know if I agree with the text mashing thing. Um, for example, Arcandy, Scotty, DCR, they, they can mash atoms so fast. Like, really, really fast. Um, and they they, even when I try to mash quicker than them, Right, I'm still losing like half a sec compared to them on the four atoms in the game that exist, and uh, like on each one, right? So yeah, like they develop the ability to mash past Adam really, really fast. They own that shit. It's their skill. So I, I don't know if I actually agree with them here, but it, it ends up in the same place anyway. It's minor. More uh, overall, what he said in the past, uh, basically since I last paused, has mostly been true. Like I agree with most of it. Um, so. I'm not gonna rag on him for that. I think I, I like that runs at 10. They're either shit or not actually 10. And I'm very lucky that the 8-Bit Dope Pro 2 has a firmware update or a firmware down patch that goes to 12. I'm very, very lucky because this is like the only controller I'll see myself running the game on. I'm super lucky. Otherwise, I'd probably just run no turbo 
and I would play for less. It would take me longer to get to the potential that I've reached now, but I would still reach the potential for sure. I don't need this shit to work. See, that's also part of my argument is like, you wouldn't have already been at this level had you not had turbo. Yep. So you've gained a serious advantage from this. Yep. But yet you're still acting like there can be any comparison between our times and our the way we got good. Oh. Yeah, I think our times can be compared. I don't think the way that we reached our times can be. Yeah. Like, huh? As he put it so uh, elegantly earlier. <laughs> I just needed to work more. I honestly, I feel like even even when people were handshaking on 15, I felt like there was something inherently disingenuous about handshaking at 15. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say this up front. Um, for those of you who conceded for 15 uh, at the time, I, I'm of the belief, uh, and you can correct me if you're, if I'm wrong here, uh, I'm of the belief that you did it because it's like you threw your hands up in there and said whatever. Uh, 15 was not a good place to be. Because, like, mashing at 12 per second, that's, that's feasible, right? But mashing at 15 per second, have you seen the amount of people that can mash out gold skip without storms? There's not many people. For that, because there were, there were people that could, that could mash at 15, right? It gave ammo for the people who wanted 15 to say, well, someone can do it, so it is humanly achievable, that's what you wanted. Not really, though. Because most people can't. And th they could develop the skill, they could learn it, but I'm willing to wager that many of those people don't want to do that because it hurts. It hurts, I've tried. Like, I'd say my single mash is pretty good. Um, what I'm, what I'm saying here is, uh, like, in, in the next, like, 15, 20, 30 seconds of this video, um, take it with a grain of salt. I obviously am not very good at double mashing. So I specifically mentioned that I switched to single mashing and it works for me and it is what it is. It's not healthy, but it, it works, right? Um, I'm sure he'll make comments about it. Uh, but whatever he says regarding my inability to double mash because I'm not doing it right, yeah, I agree. Good. I can't double mash for my fucking life. Probably because I've never learned how to do it correctly, but also because this controller is simply too fucking good. Like, I've spoken with um, other people about this before when it comes to D-pad mashing and stuff, right? Like, B-Dog recommended me a controller that has a bad D-pad because it makes D-pad mashing a lot simpler. Okay, so to go over this point, um, he doesn't mention it here, really, but his main argument for why he doesn't double mash with the Y button, specifically, is because of the actuation force of the button, and how, uh, basically, how he how he would be mashing on it wouldn't allow for him to get the speed that he's actually going at, which, to that, I say, you're just mashing wrong. True. That happened to every single person who double mashes on every single controller. Yep. The controller he's using is not an argument. Not at all. People have mashed on that controller perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Several people. I, I literally have seen it before with my own two eyes. So, no. Um, same thing with the D-pad. Um, the D-pad is a, is a weirder issue because having a bad D-pad does make it easier. Uh, just for Why did I feel like it took an effort to concede that? <laughs> reasons I don't want to go into right now, but it does make it easier. It doesn't make it impossible on a good D-pad. That's that's the key the key point here. It doesn't make it impossible, and not only that, it doesn't even make it that much harder. I could I could easily switch to the controller he's using, easily. For example, I mean to to elaborate on it further, another reason why it doesn't really work for me is because my thumbs are fucking huge. So like you know, I'm pretty sure I just didn't do it right. But double mashing on a tiny Y button, uh, that there's a reason why I prefer to single mash it with vibrating. All right. This D-pad that I have on the Apex Pro 2, you have to feel it to understand. The actuation force is very high. So when I whenever I try the D-pad mash, bleh, there's that actuation you know? force argument. I just I just start. Which he doesn't say that about the Y button here, but he has used that argument in the past. Yep. Several times. Yep. Um, I, I guess I could ask him what he thinks about that now, but considering he's not doing it, I I, I don't think his his perspective changed. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It, it didn't. That there's a reason why I single mash. It's more comfortable. Shifling. Which I think is perfectly in line with those who found setups that work for them. So, yeah. I don't think there's any value in debunking any of this. Because, so, like, we, we all take that journey when we find our own mashing techniques. It doesn't work for me, unfortunately. As he which mentions. is why I usually single mash. My mashing form for weaving is extremely dangerous. Right I would not that. recommend this <laughs> shitty single mash form that contorts my hands all over the controller so that I can both aim the stick, tap R, and mash the Y button at the same time. I'm pretty sure none of you could guess how my hands are like when I do my mashing, for, for Raven Beak Phase 2 in particular. See, this is why you have to get creative. Yep. Every single one of us that ma that weaves on Raven Beak 2 has gotten creative with our mashing methods. Nothing we do is standard by any means. Any means. Yep. Um, 
I get the feeling that he's not actually disagreeing here. Uh, just that he's expanding on it. So, uh, all I have to say to this is you're not trying hard enough. Yeah. You could not guess it. Guaranteed. Yeah, I, 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 I stopped evaluating double mash, like I mentioned, because single mashing is just better for me. Something that I do at times in categories where I refuse to use turbo weaving. Because I feel like it's a necessity. Yeah, exactly. You have to rework. You have to find what works for you. I've done my exploration. I found what works for me. Is it good? No. But like, I, I know that's where I'm at. And because I know that's where I'm at, I'm able to sympathize with those that are better than me at it and have concerns about things like 15, 12 and weaving, and oh god, 20. Or in the beginning, uncapped. Although with uncapped, it was more so that um uh, the general assumption at the time was that the game could not process more than 20 per second. That was what was... In okay, what he says right here is completely false. The what? reason why it was uncapped is because... Um, uncapped was effectively 20 hertz because there was no... Um, basically, it was it was to say that whatever is the most accessible controller should be what's um, what's su suggested, uh, which the most accessible controller by far, and that also has 20 hertz, is the um, the Hori controller. Uh, I don't no, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like it's like 20 dollars. It's very cheap, very cheap. Um, comparatively to 70 dollars for a Pro controller, I believe 50 dollars for an 8-bit Do Pro 2, which is what Sat uses. Or the Apit Do Pro, or the Apit Ultimate, I think. I think that's eighty dollars. Um, all in all in U.S. currency, just to be clear. Um, but yeah, there there was never there was never a point where we didn't think it could it could go that it couldn't go above twenty. That that was never part of the conversation at all. I'm sure some people were confused about that, but, but that was that was never that was never a consensus. Not 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 in the slightest. So, uh, I can dem uh demonstratively is that how you say it i can i can prove this to be false hold on just a sec let me, let me go let me go bring it up real quick hold up just a moment while i locate the the stuff uh, i have to find the comment real quick Okay, I found it. Let me add this tab. Can I can I add this tab to the list of tabs or what? Ah, motherfucker. All right, hold on. This is I I hate I hate shit like this. Give me a sec. So this is this is one of Oates' videos on the topic. I the worm We're not gonna watch it because there's no point. Um, but it's under this comment right here. Oops. This one right here. So, uh, Mayberry is the current server owner, was a mod at the time, uh, and they say here, in our internal discussion, we agreed to place the cap at 20, but we were working under the assumption that was equivalent to uncapped. Further information came up later proving otherwise, and we needed to clarify and reword the rule. This video had nothing to do with it. None of us had written the video at the time of making a decision to clarify it. So this is what I went off of and continue to go off of. Um, the mod team at the time, according to this moderator, specifically worked under the assumption when uncapped was uncapped for however short of a time it was, uh, considering when this comment came out anyway. Uh, that, I decided to wear my hat back. That the consensus within the team, at least, was that uncapped wasn't actually uncapped, and it was just there so people can buy whatever the control they wanted, and that... No matter what the hertz value advertised on the controller is, if above 20, it would still be 20. That is the assumption that I worked off of when I made this opinion. I am not going to change that opinion because the I just showed you why. Right? Whether it's wrong in total or not is different, but it's definitely a factor that I literally just showed. Um... It, it might have been different for the community members participating, the ones that knew better, because I believe that the mod team at the time simply did not do better. They didn't do the research that was required in order to reach something that was just, you know, like a, a fucking smart thing to do. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that it, it was correct to say that in this context. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me go back to uh, being correct here. So th this is just blatantly false yeah, information. The, the correct Whether layout. intentional or not, I can't say. I doubt it's intentional, but I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely <laughs> intentional, but I, I have a source. Anyways. Initially thought, so uncapped wasn't actually uncapped, it was 20. So that makes sense. 
Oh, I guess to add on, uh, the cap it was uncapped for a single day. Okay, so uh, it was a day. For very obvious reasons. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's very obvious. Shit that you have to consider and make a formulated opinion. To, to say uncapped is literally just a spit in the face of everything, unless you're uncapping it but allowing a separate board. Unless, and like that's what this boils down to at the end of it all, right? Honestly, it's just whether you have a separate board or not. So yeah. Opinion on you can't just inject your your beliefs in it and expect to have a fruitful discussion. You actually have to understand the other side. There has to be some level of compassion in this discussion because it's competitive. There's always this human element. I don't know, man. It, it, it's, it's, a good, it's a good thinking like experiment in, in retrospect. As someone who plays at the top level with Turbo, it is something that I cannot ignore. It's a conversation that always pops up in my head. Always, always, always. Do I usually voice it? No. It's somewhat rare that I talk about this, uh, talk about this stuff quaint ever. Because I know that it's filled with incense, if that word works here. Right? I know that it's filled with preconceptions from a lot of people. Right? But one thing is for sure that we can say, preconceptions should never impact current. In, in this context. There is no shame in being the first to do something out of the well-being of your players in an era where we have the information to make an educated decision that benefits people. Um, whoop, I did it again. Uh, okay, so while I agree with this, I feel like it's something that I could have been a lot more clear about. Um, I'm saying that if you're going to make a progressive decision in this manner, then you should not way on preconceived notions uh there is value in holding preconceived notions if you are coming from the side that does not necessarily agree with being progressive in this context because then you have evidence then you have um basis to go off of because this is a conversation that i assume has been happening forever in this series or in this uh in this hobby so to, I, I'm not talking about those that are detracting against it. I'm talking for those that are looking to be progressive about it. And in that case, there's no reason to weigh on preconceived notions because you have the information available in an era where technology allows us to do it to make educated and informed opinions on how you should be progressive without being dismissive. Yeah, that, that, that's all. And I think that um, with, with the thread, and the way that the original, you know, decision was handled, uh, they they were trying to be progressive, but they were not using what they could have used to make it a informed um, decision. So as long as we have the see, I disagree with that because the um, the standard consensus in the speedrunning community before and pretty much still is now is that turbo should not be allowed in any pretty much any game. Um, exceptions have been have been made for certain uh, JRPGs and RPGs in general uh, with text mashing because it's it's not really a skill. Like I understand that. I still don't agree with allowing turbo there, but it's not. It doesn't make a massive impact like this. Uh, and basically, everyone who had previous like every older speedrunner, and by older I don't mean age. I mean by how long they've been uh, doing. Uh, participating in the hobby for was completely ignored completely ignored it's it's really something because um oats and goats uh probably the largest uh probably the largest person who ever streamed dread speedruns especially at a top level i mean consistently over uh 1.5k viewers uh had uh, honestly i'm gonna say he had zero impact at all on this decision it didn't I matter how big way. or how old he was in, in the speedrun community it just it didn't make a any difference what and i feel like this is a disservice to him his platform and how invested clearly that he was he released three videos on the topic um and and to to dismiss what he did is stupid i'm just gonna say it up front it's stupid uh the fact that his videos which are essentially his entire opinion on the topic they were well articulated uh there there was a conversation happening in his chat and the, the like, you know, it's just he he said all these things as a prominent runner, and no one gave a fuck, which is so weird to me. And th this is why here, right? It's B Dog is a well was because he's he's quit, but he's a prominent runner, uh, in this game, best player in the world from basically when he started to 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 reach world record level until he quit, right? Basically, best player in the world, right? Like. 
fucking book like how are we not you know putting weight on these words in a certain way uh it's 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 the same thing right when, when you think about people who literally know nothing about this game and come in to say shit you don't weigh those opinions very well when someone who 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 doesn't run unrestricted is trying to make rule changes to unrestricted or inject their opinions on it you don't weigh that word very well because they don't know what they're talking about but in this case there is B, uh fucking b dog and oats who clearly know what they're talking about because they've played it before and they and then like they they've thought about it they know so why are we not weighting their opinion very highly? And the answer in the past has been the the mod team or the the people that were predominantly speaking don't agree, and so they discard it, which is inherently dismissal, and that sucks. Whatsoever, none. So I really, really, really. Uh... Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> this is why you should script these things <laughs> nah who cares about scripting be honest uh, but okay i guess <laughs> i'm trolling like but... they were just completely ignored any anybody who had previously speed run any game completely ignored yep your your advice means nothing which is very 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 disrespectful yeah uh so i can actually pinpoint something that happened in the earlier discussions for this uh for example um carter freak very well known uh within the scene respected Right, has put a ton of effort into this. Apparently, had played Tetris in the past, I believe, and learned magic techniques for Tetris. And while, like, I, I respect Carter a lot for this, um, they were not really well taken to in these contexts in the old discussion and the fucking recent new one that happened like mid end of last year. For some fucking reason, they just weren't taken well to. Uh, even though literally everything they were saying was just to help. And in fact, they were even conceding on 15, which again, like I said earlier, I feel like conceding on 15 is a hands up in the air type of shit. Um, like fucking being arrested, being told, you know, like, and you just have to say something to get out. I feel like that's what 15 uh, was back then. Anyway, I wasn't there for it. So whether that's true or not, like I said, whatever. Um, like, how do you even ignore that at all? Like, are you, it's not human or humane, I guess. Like, if someone knows more than you, it's not argument to authority to, to well, it is argument to authority to say, like, yeah, these players know what they're talking about. They, they, they should be taken as law. That's argument to authority. But it, it's, it's not fallacious to accept their fucking advice. What? And a lot of that sentiment was also coming from previously established speedrunners, from the original mod team. Which, it just, I mean, it kind of just shows that this, this was never an argument in the first place. This was very much just, uh, I mean, it, it essentially was just bullying in terms of that. All, all they were trying to do, they weren't trying to get what they wanted to be accepted. They wanted us to not argue against it yep that's it that's all the goal was yeah that discussion felt rather tyrannical uh there were a lot of pro turbo uh believers on the mod team at the time very outspoken about it uh which caused the turbo uh the pro turbo advocates to rally with them and then at that point the minority which is the non-turbo advocates uh they it doesn't matter what they do they're gonna get snuffed out it and if they say anything, they just get shit on. So yeah, I completely agree. And I'll prove that uh, in later videos. I will prove that with 100% certainty that that was the case. Uh, anyways. The information, as long as we have a fruitful discussion, or try to, as long as we <laughs> all to. get what's going on, right? When we all get it, then whatever comes out of the vote, whatever comes out of the poll, the discussion, it's all good, as long as we all get it. We're moderate. It's worth noting that the uh, the turbo thread that you can find, uh, one of the very first messages from a uh, moderator was, uh, there was a previous poll on this, and um, basically, uh, the, the majority poll. will never, ever, <laughs> ever say uh, yes to allowing turbo on the same boards. So we're just going to do that anyways, uh, and completely ignore the majority, uh, and just debate the, debate the details at this point. That is... Uh, I, I shouldn't. I, I don't have to explain that. Everybody who's watching right now knows exactly how much bullshit uh, that is. Yep.
deteriorating ourselves here, which wasn't actually yep, the case yep, back yep. then. But right now, I, I'm willing to bet that any discussion had at this level um, we would be moderated in the sense that we'd be moderating ourselves. And if that's not the case, then I think that it would have to be enforced that way. Nice, you know. Run's going good. I mean, this run's going good. But uh, we're, we're reaching the, the hard part, so I'm about to start bitching about the game. I agree, Scotty. I agree. I think the current mod team is very, very good at just not being that. And you, you know what I mean when I mean that. You know what I mean. You read the last conversation. You, you read the first one, right? You know what I mean. <laughs> I completely disagree with this, and I will go over exactly... A lot of the current mod team participated in the original thread, just to, uh, just to throw that out there. Um, and much of what they were saying, in all honesty, was the most extreme of it, I feel. Especially coming from one person. Um, but... We'll, we'll get to him when we get to him uh, in those videos. Right, I'm interested in what that is. Uh, uh, unless it's just personal attacks. But again, there's a difference between what people say and who they actually are. Um, so hopefully it's civil. But I mean, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, uh, I, so like w w with the justification he gave regarding they were present in the old discussion, um, or some of the mods from the current team being pre present in the old discussion and the stuff they said back then. Uh, my response to that is that time changes people. And also, uh, even if they've gotten better about it, what matters is that it's a mod team and that there are people within the team that keep those that are being unreasonable in check. The older team, from what I understand, much of the participants in that old mod team were like-minded. It was basically a pro-turbo hive mind. Right? So, no matter what, they're, they're, it just wasn't looking good. But as long as you have people within that team who can bring things back to speed, who can bring things from just being, you know, like, I'm gonna make it how I want it, because that's not what a mod team does. We represent the community, for sure. So, personally, as a member of the team, and I will advocate this, uh, at least for now. I'm not sure if it'll ever change. I hope it doesn't. I think that the current mod team is much better at being what I mentioned, which is to be reasonable. And just don't, don't try to make things how you want it. Just do the research, right? Accept that there are differing opinions. Be faithful to the community's wants. All that shit. If we had the current mod team with the breadth of experience that we have now, and we injected that into the older discussion, I'm sure that none of this would have happened. We'd keep a split board, and like because the community as a whole, majority-wise, uh, majority wanted a split board, right? we would probably just have a split board. None of this would happen. Or much of this would not happen. I'm sure that they're, you know, yeah. <laughs> this mod team is very, very good at not being the, the, the issue. And that's that's not even like shade at the old team in, in terms of individuality. They were all trying to do what, what they thought was best. But the way that the discussion was handled, they only were looking at what they thought was best, not what the general community as a whole thought was best. So yep. let, me, let, let me just slap this wall clip real quick. Oh, I just have gameplay here because it's a stream highlight. That's, that's also a thing. All right, let me finish this first, and we'll get back to this conversation. Madge. Here's, here's something that I hold as a personal belief, right? I don't think it's necessarily true, but it's something that I hold as a generalization. Any staff team for any game-related community should be concurrently playing the game. Yep. Now, that's my belief, right? Because that's what I would do to myself if I was a staff member, which I am. So as soon as I stop playing the game for an extended period of time, I'll probably step down. That's just how I am. What I think the actual truth of the matter should be is the person who is a staff member should have full knowledge of the game. That's enough. That's what I think it should be. They don't need to keep playing because some games, you know, yeah, it's like that. So what I can say for confidence, and I think Scotty agrees considering what he said there earlier, was that the old mod team wasn't really like that. I hate this game. Yeah, it's like a balanced team on a game that has patch cycles. If you're not familiar with your game, don't be on the team because how can we trust people? Okay, so what are you saying here? completely agree with if you if you have a limited knowledge of a game or you are actively not participating in discussion around the game whether it's you know for leaderboards or for strats or whatever get the fuck out yep you do not belong there i agree um and i will 100 percent say that to every mod who's currently a mod in that discord on src 
whatever. If you're not actively playing this game, or if your knowledge of this game is limited, why are you here? Why? Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I choose not to say it that way um, for reasons, but I completely agree with the overall sentiment on any mod team. If you're not playing the game and you're not actively participating, it is indicative of you no longer having the same passion you had when you enlisted to be a mod. So things have changed. You're clearly not suited for it anymore. Consider stepping down. Right, you, like, you know, it's it's better that you do it on your own terms, as opposed to someone else pointing it out and then you having to feel pressured to do it later. You have to have some self awareness there. If you're not actively doing speed runs, that's fine as long as you're still invested in the community and know what you're talking about. But if you're not even doing that, then you know you've kind of failed the two checks there. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay. How can we trust people to make a decision for players if they don't play? Or if they haven't played extensively before? Ideally, they would keep playing. Ideally, they would continue to be invested in the scene, in the game, in the community. Ideally. And when the staff team can't even do that and they're, they're made to moderate something, it's not a good look for anybody. Oh, I hit DLC ski first try here. And also, I did that. Yeah. But like, end all be all, I am not afraid to talk about it. You know what I find interesting, though? Given the car. Whatever. Fuck takes. On, 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 at times, it's true. My takes can be quite, uh, yeah. But, I mean, I agree sometimes my takes are like on purpose. <laughs> because I, everyone who's talked to me for more than like an hour knows that I love to talk. Regardless, right? As someone who has talked to him for more than an hour, 100% <laughs> agree. You, oh, my lord. I'm not going to say anything because it might it would be disrespectful, but he's not lying here. It depends yep. entirely on what kind of talk it is, of course. Bro, sometimes I talk so much that other people don't get the talk. It's a personal problem. I'm working on it though, but like, I guess I could bring something up. Uh, we had a mostly joke discussion about boost wall versus flash shift. Um, <laughs> lasted over an hour, close to an hour and a half. It was um, it was interesting. <laughs> it was very interesting. I wish I, I wish I kept that conversation recorded because it uh, it reveals how uh, how both of our arguing styles. Um, uh, well, I, I guess just how the style in which we both argue. So, yeah. Fruitful we'll discussion, this out. pardon this word, is like my social kink. You oh, know what uh, I mean? Like, I just love having good discussion about okay, stuff. The, okay, the last, like, two, three minutes of this video is completely fucking useless, whatever. Who cares? Um, anyways, so I suppose to cap it off, uh, I made this video because I watched his video, and I just... Uh, I'm gonna be honest, this is low-hanging fruit. This this is an unbelievably easy... Uh, video... Oh my lord, I've been watching this for too long. Unbelievably easy video to just completely pick apart. There's no, like, it's it's too easy. It's way too easy. Any, anybody could do it. Um, but decided to make it anyways. And when it comes to the, uh, I guess I'll say this, um, and I don't know if I'll get any shit for it, but it really needs to be said and pointed out. If you think that the current mod team, is, no matter how respectful or civil they are, if you think it is okay, the fact that every single one of them... Oh, I'm going to predict what he's saying here, that we all use Turbo, except for like many. Every single one is very pro-Turbo, and not only that, every single one of them, with the exception of one person, uses Turbo. If you think that's okay for a community... Uh, to or okay, okay for community. If you want to have a balanced discussion, that cannot happen. That is one-sided, no matter how you look at it. Um. So, in my opinion, I feel like this is something that is probably born from the state of earlier discussions, and that we are that we like when we bound the contexts in this way, where the mod team is just full of turbo players then yes, at surface value, I think it would be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to have an actual balanced back and forth between any representative from any side. Um, what the difference here, I think, is that there are, there are runners there that have grown from it, and especially myself. Uh, I can only speak for myself in particular here. Uh, I understand both sides of the discussion uh, when it comes to the points being made and less with the way that they're saying 
uh, certain things, but the points actually being made, I could argue for both sides for free. Uh, and that is one of my primary reasons for staying as a moderator, because I feel like I am capable of being able to see past, you know, this this the, 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 this level of incivility or whatever the the word is. I don't even know, in, in, in civil, uncivility, not not civilized, whatever. Um, I I know he says no matter how civil you think it'll be, it's not possible. Uh, but because I have that clarity, I can understand and respect both sides of the discussion. There are many times where someone uh, argues against something, and I say, "Well, you know, you like you just you, you still got to give the other guy the point." You know, like as as someone who strives for mutual understanding, I might be alone on this, um, in in this context. But like you, you can't have a discussion and not understand the other person and say that it worked out. So in the old discussion, that was never the case. I think in the current mod team after being uh, associates or friends with them for a very long time. Uh, now, anyway, um, I, I, I think that we're in a much better spot. And this might just seem like mod PR, but hopefully that doesn't come across that way for those who actually listen to the contents of this VOD, because you already know how I feel about how you should be conducting yourself in a mod space anyway. And... Uh, one thing I'll say is if I ever severely disagree with the overall mentality of the mod team and how they conduct themselves with making community decisions, I am very likely to step down and make that very clear. So I haven't done that yet. Whether you think that I'm being unreasonable because I don't see it the way that you do, you not just being the creator of this video, um, B-Dog, or anyone else who has that same opinion, um, whether you think I'm wrong for that, uh, that's your personal take. And I, I, I know what I know because I'm, I'm, I'm part of it. Yeah. I don't know what else he says. Here. Um, it's almost over anyway. Just an inherent flaw in the, uh, the way things work right now. But anyways, uh, this is kind of, I mean, this video is kind of just a start to what I'm going to be doing. He's making so his plans, I guess just to kind of line it out, plans known. I right. will be... I will be making several two to three hour long videos, Jesus. likely over a dozen videos. Oh, is it to on the, the original thread? Turbo Thread? I'm My going to go through God. every single message in that original Turbo Thread, every single one, and you're, you'll be able to. See you know, some people would see this as like you know, like time wasting. I see it as he actually cares and wants to get it out there, just because it actually does something and hopefully positive. I don't know if he cares enough to the extent where he wants this to be a positive outcome, or if he cares enough because he feels like. It just hasn't been said, and that's a disservice. I feel like both could be true. I'm not gonna, you know, like maybe I'll ask him if I know, but whatever. See everybody's names, what they what they said. Bottom line, what's coming if he commits to this plan? Everyone who cares about dread and the speed running scene for dread should watch those in totality, digest it, understand it, and then appreciate it. Bottom line, if you cannot do that. Quite frankly, do not stay in the discussion anymore. It's, it's, it's the same logic when it comes to mods and how they should be playing the game if they want to stay mods. If you want to discuss what's going on, you should keep up with all the information being put out. Otherwise, you're, you're ill-equipped. The information put forth at the time, uh, I'm going to be going through it in a real-time fashion, sort of reacting to it in a way. I've already read most of it, uh, but given the amount that's in there, it's impossible to remember everything. Um, edit in, uh, up there. Um, a major issue in that thread is the uh, evidence put forth was lacking. Yep. Very lacking. I'm, I'm going to just go back to make Just sure. to have the evidence out there. Um, a major would take, or if it would take too much uh, and take away from the video, I would link to certain things. Uh, just to, just to have the evidence out there. Um, a major issue in that thread is the... Uh, evidence put forth was lacking. I assume he's talking about turbo research. Yeah, I agree. Very lacking. E even the research that was done in the middle of last year was pretty lacking. Um, so I'll be doing that. I'll be going over the thread about the uh, the transition from 20 hertz to 12, the, the, the turbo cap from 20 hertz to 12 hertz. Um, and yeah, that's basically my plan. Uh, I will probably also make some videos uh, about 
how to mash and how I mash for certain fights in this game. Uh, specifically, good ways to do it that aren't detrimental to, at least detrimental to your short-term health. Um, I can't speak for long-term health because that's different for every person, and there's there's so much that goes into long-term health, but I can at least speak for short-term health. Absolutely 100% for sure. Um, but, yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. This will pretty much only be, be the only content I uh, have related to Dread for a while. Um, because I, I don't feel like speedrunning this game. I, I really don't. Um, and, yeah. So, anyways, I guess, bye, YouTube outro thing. Yeah, um, I mean, like, again, I, I do not inherently disagree with anything that was said here. God, it's been how long? Two hours? Almost? Jesus fucking Christ. I do not inherently disagree with anything being put out here. I think everything being put out is, 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 is worth it to listen to. It, it's, it's understandable, and there is genuinely nothing here that you should dismiss. And if you do dismiss what is being said in this video, or in my video, all right, I, I'm making it even here. If you dismiss either of them, you are doing the scene a disservice. Like, dis dismiss it after you've understood, after you've argued against, and if the person continues to be a solid brick wall and you can't reach an understanding, then dismiss it for your own personal mental safety. I agree with that, but dismissing shit just because it doesn't agree is just so fucking weird. It's so weird. So this video is really, really important. I did not like this video yet, apparently. All right, there we go. Um... I'm probably going to share this video around if he if he allows me, just so I can get people in on this, and I'm going to post this VOD in response as well. Uh, but what I'm probably going to do is uh, approach him about it, see if he cares. Uh, either way, um, bottom line is, there are multiple facets to this discussion that you cannot ignore ever. And if any of you, no matter what side you support of the Turbo discussion, ignores anything, yeah, just 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 don't talk. All right, bet. All right, peace.